How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com Coming at you on Monday, October the 4th as we get this video to you every drawing this time. I know the video is coming at you a little bit later today. Nice free pick winner on Washington football team yesterday. Dan Snyder is a very salty guy, isn't he? He keeps the name as the Washington football team. So, so funny. And uh, before I forget, is there anything more endangered in society than a white male who works with Stephen A. Smith on ESPN First Take? First Skip Bayless goes, Forget Skip Bayless. I'm a huge Max Kellerman fan. So what happened there was Stephen A, basically T.O. got Max Kellerman kicked off because T.O. is a great guy, but he basically said Max Kellerman is more black than Stephen A. Smith on that uh, interview that they did. And Stephen A didn't take that too well, so he was like, no, 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 no. And that was such a hit to his ego. Max Kellerman's a great guy. Whatever, you know. I put that on Twitter. Hope it didn't offend anybody, but I like Max Kellerman a lot, which is why I'm not even a fan of ESPN First Take anymore because I'm a huge Max Kellerman fan. I think he's a good guy. I think he's a hard worker. I don't think he deserved to get knocked off the show, but it is what it is. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy, and this is DocSports.com. Indian Cowboy has been around for 17 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 51 years. Um, uh, our best plays are over at DocSports.com. And then our next best plays are our YouTube Premium selections. Great call, by the way, yesterday. On our YouTube Premium, we gave you the under and we gave you the Patriots. Fantastic calls. And uh, we're 65% on YouTube Premium for two plus months, almost going on three months. And then next, we have our free plays and leads on this video every day. I promise you tomorrow's video will come out very early. And uh, we'll talk about, uh, you know, the baseball game and stuff. And uh, not a lot going on right now, but uh, we will because the NBA is about to start pretty soon and NHL is in eight days. The PDF will share with you. I got to tell you about the football week, man. Uh, we are top 10 in the nation in both national contests, which is really exciting. This is the best football year we've ever had. We had uh, another seven unit winner this past week. Uh, we rolled at Arizona plus the four and a half against the LA Rams and they won outright. We've won the last four football selections, seven unit selections outright. Okay, um, we are we went five. We have our three unit selection tonight on Monday Night Football on the side, but I'm going to give you a total. We are we went five and one in football this week for plus twelve seventy. We went six and one last week for plus twenty one seventy. We are sixteen and four in the NFL regular season, eighty <laughs> percent. We have posted over plus forty two. We have posted plus forty two fifty in football this year. We have won four straight winning weeks in football. Week one, seven unit Cardinals plus a three over Cardinals plus a three over Tennessee. Twenty point cover outright. Week two, Titans plus the five and a half outright. Nine and a half point cover. Week three, Saints plus a three outright. Twenty eight to thirteen, eighteen point cover. Week four, Cardinals plus the four and a half. Thirty seven twenty outright. Twenty one and a half point cover. Four straight seven unit winners. All outright winners. Average cover of 17 points plus. That's two touchdowns and a field goal. Pretty good stuff. Five straight winning years in baseball second halves. We need to do better in baseball for the postseason, so we're looking to do that. And I think we will. WNBA resumes back. We split our two five-unit selections on Sunday. Hopefully we'll do well there. College football is coming around nicely back-to-back. Three straight winners now. We had LSU two weeks ago over Mississippi State, and then we backed it up with Mississippi State plus the six and a half. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Mississippi State plus the 7.5 over Texas a and outright winner there too. And then we had Auburn plus the 3.5 over LSU, outright winner there too. We had so many outright winners lately, um, which is great. So Korean baseball winning season, the season's about to end, plus 18.40. Uh, we'll, looks like we're going to finish off with a winning season there. NHL starts in eight days. The early bird package is up. We will post the PDF for you. Join. We're going to win again, make it back-to-back winning years. 86 and 66 last year for plus 43.75. And then we have a uh, next baseball selection. Why is this showing this? Well, that's super irritating. Um, yeah, next baseball selection on Wednesday, okay? I'm sorry, next baseball selection is on Tuesday. Um, next WNBA selection is on Wednesday. And yeah, let me just update this while I have you here. But yeah, I will, um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the entire week and what I think is going to happen as it relates to, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen this week in football and just tell you what I think about all the teams in general as well. Uh, just 
give me one second here. Uh, yeah. Okay. So number one, let me give you let me give you the play, and then let me get to this. I think tonight's going to go under the posted total. Number one. Um, I think it's going to go. Uh, I think we have it at about forty six today. Uh, at the end of the day, this you have to give credit to. Um, uh, so first things first. The Chargers just held the Cowboys at 20 points, which is impressive given how good Dallas' offense is. The Raiders' offense is pretty good as well, but they caused a lot of turnovers last week against the Chiefs in that big win, so give them that credit too. It's also a big public fade, a divisional game, and traditionally be like unders in divisional games anyway. The under is 16-4 and four and one in the last 21 meetings in Los Angeles, and the under is 4-0 and oh for the Chargers in the last four home games as a favorite. Here's the other thing. The Raiders are undefeated. Okay, I'm not telling you what our side play is, but I sometimes like to take teams and go against those who are undefeated. I'm not saying, okay, I always try to hook you guys up as much as I can, win or lose, about what we think based on our team. We have a really good team. Uh, but yeah, I like the under. I like the under 50, what was it, a 51 and a half as your uh, free play today. And uh, YouTube Premium, uh, I'm going to share with you, uh, I'm going to hook you up later in a second, but under 51 and a half is what it's at. And... Um, there's nothing uh, to go on for YouTube Premium. So what I might do is I might just log on and have fun with you guys for a YouTube Premium live show tonight during the game. Um, so around the second half, I'm just going to jump on live and we're just going to hang out. That's what we're going to do for tonight's YouTube Premium fun, okay? Um, so I do think this game goes under, and I think it goes under because I think the Chargers are going to have a letdown after that great performance in the last game offensively. But I think defensively, they'll be super sharp. I mean, they just had to beat Kansas City 30-24. to 24. I don't see them scoring 30 points this time. They scored 20-17 and 17 in the first two weeks. And then you combine that with Las Vegas, who just uh, let Miami score 28 points, which is an abomination. And then, um, which I think they'll do much better and hold them as well. So I think this game goes under the 51 and a half. Now I want to give you my quick thoughts on all of the NFL teams and what happened this week. Um, I think the Jaguars are probably going to, they could unite under Urban Meyer after his situation with some girl dancing on him. Uh, which if you don't know about it, Google it. Uh, he was in Ohio visiting some people and some girl that's not his wife was dancing on him. Uh, which is not a good thing, <laughs> especially if your wife uh, cares, uh, which he says that she does. Um, but, um, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, there. I, I did tell you about the Colts plus the points against Miami. There's no way that Frank Reich team was going to go 0-3 or 0-4 to start. The Jets, Jets, Jets. Tennessee plays up to good teams like Seattle. They play down to bad teams. Watch for Tennessee all throughout the year for that. Uh, Carolina was impressive, weren't they? I mean, they were up 14-13 to and then 20 points by Dallas in the third quarter. But Carolina, I'm telling you, is a good team. They're going to be a good team to take us as um, – either small favorites against really good teams in general. I told you my Falcons stink. Fade them the whole way through. Washington, of course, was better. And Henneke, of course, being from the Atlanta area, did well against his former team. Browns pulled it off. They look like they're for real, finally. I told you the Bears are going to win. Small favorite. After everybody torched them for seven or nine sacks or whatever, they're going to play better the next game. Everybody torched them, so they play better. Andy Reid gets it done, comes back to Philly, had a Philly cheesesteak. He said he gets it done. I'm telling you, New Orleans is just like Tennessee. They play down to bad teams, but they play up to good teams. That's why they lost to the Giants outright. Told you the Rams are going to have a letdown. Cardinals destroyed them. Kingsbury is a very, very good coach. He's finally coming through. Um, I, I told you New England's going to cover and the game's going to go under. On the, uh, I'm telling you, on nationally televised games, unders are not bad plays at all. That was our YouTube premium selection. Baltimore-Denver, that surprised me. I actually thought Denver was going to win, but Teddy Bridgewater got hurt. If Teddy doesn't get hurt, maybe they score 24 points or 26 points and win the game. Uh, give Green Bay credit. They got it done. Pittsburgh is terrible. And um, that's about it. Hope you guys are doing well. YouTube Premium, we'll hang out in the uh, third and fourth quarter probably of tonight's football game. We'll just talk and have fun because there's nothing else going on today besides this game. So for YouTube Premium, we'll hang out tonight. Hope you guys are doing well. And that uh, YouTube Premium is on the comment section. It's pinned to the top if you want to join. It's like 30 extra videos every month, 60 extra selections. Actually, 60 extra selections a month plus a YouTube Premium selection um, live show once a week. So that's 13 extra. So about 100 extra selections per month. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you back here tomorrow. If you appreciate the video, please take a moment to like and subscribe.